everybody this is Charles with Draco Aerial so right now I am actually in the um, William Douglas um, wilderness area in Washington State and today you know what I want to talk to you about National Parks Forest Service and the rules for drones should there be rules yes but where do the rules go too far? Where do the laws go too far? This is what I have an issue with. And I'll explain to you what's going on, give you a little background as to why I'm here and not in the desert, and let you know why I'm complaining about this right now. All right, I gotta get up the trail and, um, actually this trail right here, see behind me? This goes all the way to the um, Pacific Crest Trail that goes from Canada all the way, well, from Mexico all the way to Canada. And um, it's part of the reason I'm out here today. But um, yeah, let me get up the top of the trail and um, we'll talk about this. Okay, so since I've been out here, my camera died, had to go to my phone for backup. That's okay. Let's talk about this. Okay, so what am I doing up here in Washington? Oh, well, buddy of mine who also has a YouTube channel. I'll see if he wants me to link a description or put a link up there for one of his videos. But anyway, he's part of a um, search and recovery. I say search and recovery, not search and rescue. Uh, going after, putting teams together to go and look for um, the 411 missing individuals. So, of course, there's several individuals missing up here in Washington State. He asked if I'd come up if, yeah, there's a lot of bugs, a lot of bugs. Anyway, he asked if I'd come up and um, see about getting permission to operate the drones to do search some areas. Now drones have been successful in finding missing persons and recovering remains in the past. I was all for it. He had a couple other projects that if that didn't go through, that he would also have me working on. Let me move this camera. All right, so that's a little bit better. So now I'm not like shaking the whole camera anyway. So he asked me if I'd come up and help support this operation. And I said, absolutely. I came up here and um, of course we did reach out to the National Park. We reached out to U.S. Forest Service because these are no drone areas. Recreational or commercial, doesn't matter. No drones. We had gotten permission for the National Forest. Up until right before the whole operation kicked off. Then a uh, new district manager took over and nope not happening the thing is is with the drones i can cover an area with the 3d mapping especially an open area i can cover that area 15 20 minutes it's going to take searchers on the ground hours to cover that same exact area that creates an issue we have the tools and technology and capability to move forward and to help bring closure to families from missing people. Um, and there shouldn't be a reason we cannot fly our commercial drones in national parks or in forest service areas. 
Okay, now these aren't even mosquitoes. These are more biting flies and they're annoying as can be. Okay, so back to the topic. The rules just don't make sense for, for certain reasons. And I understand you don't want little Billy who's 12 years old, who mom and dad bought him a drone at the big W store and going out in the national park chasing wildlife or crashing into environmental things like the glaciers or the geysers, you know, I understand there are reasons, but a commercial operator. Now I could go get my buddy who only has a recreational license for flying pl airplanes and we can fly in the airspace over national parks, over forest service. Commercial pilots can. If I had the uh, money, cha-ching, we could rent a helicopter, send it up with camera, take lots of photos, stitch it all together, spend thousands of dollars for something I already have. I think it's time, and hopefully there's some other commercial pilots out there that want to get on board with this. If you do, send me a message, send me an email. You can find my email at dracoaerial.com. Send me a message. I think it's time we start getting our congressmen locally to start pushing some laws to change this. Commercial pilots should be able to go out for search and recovery. These are nonprofits. These are not your local law enforcement, search and rescue teams. These are nonprofit organizations and they should be encompassed and they should be included and we should be able to get the same waivers and be allowed to do the same thing for these groups doing the same mission that a search and rescue. Search and rescue is there when there's still hopes that they're gonna find someone alive. Fortunately, a lot of these that we're looking for and the individual we're looking for has been missing for multiple years. Who knows? But it's time we start fighting and getting some of these laws changed. We shouldn't have to go through months of letters back and forth, yeses and then noes, and it should be automatic. For a 107 pilot, it should be automatic and you should be able to get, fill some paperwork out, get approval immediately. Not even just approval, it's more just fill out the paperwork, we're gonna be in this area and we're searching and National Park knows if it's in a conservation area, different things can be arranged, but something's gotta change. Something's gotta change to where drone pilots can get out there and do the work we need to do, the work we're capable of doing, and what we can provide back to society. You know, I didn't charge them to come up here. I volunteered my time, I volunteered my equipment. That's where we're at. That's where I stand. And that's what I believe needs to happen. And I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to start reaching out to all my congressmen and senators. And I'm going to work on making something change. I may not win. I may lose. But you know what? We got to do something. We got to stand together. All right. Team's out there somewhere. I stayed back with the um, radio guy today. Had to work on a few other projects. But um, yeah, it's 12.30. They've got probably three more hours and they'll be heading back in. So make sure you hit that like, subscribe, bell notification, so you can find out when I put more videos out. Uh, I've been doing some interesting projects, so. Ah, it's been a, busy, been a busy month. I thought COVID was shutting me down, but it's getting busy. All right, till next time. Fly safe, and I am out of here. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we 